Namaste, namaskar, kese ho Udaipur. Good morning, good morning, my friends. We are giving you the first glimpse, and also my first glimpse, of this incredibly beautiful city. Wow, honestly guys, I'm pretty much speechless. This is the city of lakes. This is Udaipur. So guys, we're gonna be taking you with us as we explore through the streets of this incredibly beautiful and picturesque and almost like a romantic like city. Just from when we arrived here, Raul and I saw a bunch of different, uh, it seemed like couples out here, a lot of tourists, a very inviting place to give you a once in a lifetime experience. Just looking out here, this almost feels like an Indian version. Let's head on down and we'll take you guys with us through the streets where we are going to head on over and explore. Que se ho bicep. Tige? Very tige. Good morning. So guys, this is actually the hotel where we're staying at and it looks over the whole lake. We just woke up here a couple minutes ago and yeah it's a, a cool place and for a really good price you can see the designs here we've got paintings we've got kind of like vine leaves all the way up and down this place and so just a one of a kind type of place good morning morning brother morning sire perfect oh, everything's a bohota chow over here yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later all right so guys, that's over here at the uh, Dream Yard Hotel that we're staying at for $16 per night for us to share a room, so $8 per person. That is a great, great price. Oh, I guess it's called a hostel, but it's like a, uh, it feels kind of more like a hotel to me because you have your own room. Um, but yeah, I guess it's Hotel Lake Gat or also Dream Yard Hostel. So yeah, guys, really nice hostel though. One of the nicer hostels I've ever stayed at. And these are the streets we're gonna be taking you with us through in just a moment. I think we gotta find ourselves some coffee. coffee. Namaskar, my friend. Coffee here. Ah, Daniavad. How are you, sir? Hey, Bahota Cha. Kese Ho. Very good. Yeah, very nice locals, guys. We're getting some recommendations here already, which is fantastic news. We're just waiting on Raul here. Chale, chalo, Raul. All right, here we go. We're about to chalo, chale down into these streets here. It is about 10 a.m. So you guys will get an idea of what it's like this early in the morning. All right. Wow. It looks like we have some morning seaweed being moved over onto the shores. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, very good. And you? Uh, from the U.S. U.S. How can I am here? My name is My name is Russell? Russell. Russell. My name is Mac. Mac. Mac or Russell? Mac. And Rasul. Nice to meet you. Donivad. All right, looks like we got some fresh seaweed coming in this morning here. All right, that looks fantastic. Yeah, a lot of lakes here, the city of lakes. Yeah, beautiful city. All right, where to? Nice to meet you, my friend. All right, here we go. Looks like we're going the wrong way already, that's all right. All right, the busyness has started in the city. Good morning, Udaipur. Hello, sir. Hello, Udaipur. Good boy, down boy. Even, even those dogs right there were looking like, all right, who's coming through the streets right now and screaming? And see, guys, this is why you kind of feel that European vibe, like nice paved roads kind of winding through the buildings, uh, plants, balconies, like terrace, uh, what do you call those, Juliet terraces looking out into the streets. Lots of little coffee shops right here. Oh, uh, Danivad Bicep. Where are you from? Uh, U.S. Uh, uh, Illinois. Uh, Chicago. Danivad Bicep. 
So we're arriving to the spot here, Jill's Ginger Coffee Bar and Bakery. Oh yes, it is time to get some dealer's chow. Good morning. Kese Holbeis up. All right, what do we got going on here? Some delicious stuff. We got some views down there on the lake available. Perfect. Let's see what we're going on. Hello, Kese Hol. All right, oh yeah, we've got some seating out here. So we've got seating right inside and down here, a little patio. Hello. Yeah, we got two seats out there, bro. They have what? Rooftop. Rooftop. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Let's check it out then. Uh, Want to order first? We order here, yeah. You're sitting here. Rooftop. We order on the top. Okay. Take it, Danny. Bad. After you, bro. Thank you. Oh, oh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> All right. So we're arriving to. Uh, is this considered to be Udaipur's best cafe? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know, but oh, okay. the guy is... Uh... That's what the guy says, yeah? Yeah. All right, well, it's got a pretty awesome design as we walk in here. Our hotel guy. Hotel guy, yeah. Oh, 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 let's take pictures, Saya. Hello, Saya. <laughs> Don Evad. Oh. oh, it's a proper uh, walkout. stair climb to get up here, guys. Morning walkout. We're going to have earned this breakfast more than ever. <laughs> Give me the breakfast food, Sire. Hello. All right, wow. We have made it up. Good morning. Good morning. What is it? Good morning. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, we've got a nice patio up here. Oh, yeah. Hmm? One more up. Oh, all right, we're going again. <laughs> all right, Danivad. Danivad. All right, here we go. Guess we're going a little further up, guys. We're getting a full tour of the entire place. Do we have any seats up here, my friend? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be limited. All right. Well, what do we got going on? I think this is going to be our only option, bro. <sighs> so guys, we just made it to the top of Jill's. Let me tell you this, the views are much, much better up here than on the first floor. Although the first floor was nice being that close to the lake. Now you can look out, got the bridges in the distance. We've got the islands down there. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, we got to move over. Yeah, Raul, let's get this. Let's get that table right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go guys. Now we can see the islands in the distance. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, Udai Pool. Oh, guys, I already love this city. My first impressions, I haven't even shown you anything yet. And my first impressions in this, of this place were like, just like blown away. The design of it is, is what I love the most. It almost feels like, I don't even know what to compare it to. Like you, it almost feels like you're like an Indian city mixed with like a European feel with a little bit of Venice vibes here when we're by the lakes. And just, yeah, like so, so much. I could easily stay here for a long, long time. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out this menu here. Oh wow, the whole place just cleared out within seconds. When we came up here, guys, that was right when I started this video, it was a full house. Now, so guys, it looks like we've got quite a few options of things to uh, sip on here. We've got espressos, cappuccinos, iced coffees, teas, shakes, mocktails, oh, aerated drinks, grilled sandwiches. Oh yeah. All right. So we've got a lot of options. Pastas, wood-fired pizza. All right. Pancakes. Oh, baby, baby. And a homemade bakery. Sizzling brownie? Mm. All right, well, what do you think for breakfast then, bro? Which one's the breakfast part? Did I miss it? Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Akramke. Manchala. Manchala, that's a great name. Uh, could I have a, let's see here, one uh, peach iced tea, uh, one iced Americano. Ooh, all right. Which is the most popular sandwich? Paneer, that's what you usually do. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 very nice. Uh, pesto roasted veggie sandwich, that sounds very nice too. Mm. And then on the other picture you said pastas? Ooh, pasta could be kind of good. Is there a pasta with pesto? Oh yeah, right there. 
Ooh, can I have the pesto pasta just with no mushrooms? Without mushroom. Uh, what about you, Roland? Need caffeine. <laughs> mm, yeah, I need caffeine badly. Yeah. Cappuccino. Something with paneer, probably. <laughs> Alright, guys, we've got the uh, iced tea and the coffee. Also, drop a comment below if your preference is iced tea or coffee, energy drinks or natural energy. I'll be curious to know. Well, let's try this one out. Mmm. Wow. That made me want to select iced tea as my number one favorite. That's a peach iced tea with these views. Ice cold, refreshing. It doesn't get any better than that. Let's try out the uh, iced coffee here. Also very nice. Could probably use a little milk in there, but the coffee, the flavor in it, really good. Some of the best coffee that I've had so far as I've been traveling through India. Because to be honest, there's a couple cities we've been to in Rajasthan where the coffee at some of the places was not as good. This right here is like gourmet coffee. But in terms of just my preference, we could probably toss a little milk in there. Because I do like my coffees with a little bit of cream in there. But both I would give like, for India, 10 out of 10, for sure. For like world rating for coffee, I'd give it probably uh, 8.5 out of 10. So really high ratings. Uh, plus, you know, the real question guys is, are my taste buds biased because the scenery right here is incredible? Or do you think that doesn't actually affect it? That's one thing I've always wondered. It's just like when you have a delicious meal delivered to you right in front of you and it's, you know, the food presentation is impeccable. Does it taste better because it looks good? Some would argue yes. Oh yeah, and here's what we got guys. The delicious pesto pasta right there. We've got some, looks like garlic bread to mix it with. We've got some peppers in there. We've got some tomatoes. And Raul's going for the pizza there, bro. Living the Italian life. Pizza boy. Yeah, there we go. You gonna give it a test? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Udaipur, guys. Mm -hmm. It's very cheesy, you know. It's very yeah, it looks cheesy. It looks yeah. delicious. Mm. Got an Italian flavor to it. Mm. You can try it. Mm. Maybe I'll try a little slice there. Let's so give good. it a shot there. Some medium. local pizza. Yeah, it's medium spicy. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. It's got a nice spice to it. Mm. It's got like your Italian thin crust there. Nice little spice to it though, quite, quite tasty. Probably one of the better, best pizzas I've had actually in India. I've only had probably two or three at this point. Mm. Who would have thought guys, one of my first meals I'm having here in Udaipur is gonna be an Italian meal. I'm okay with it though, Italian's one of my favorite foods. And I've had a lot of local foods over the last couple weeks, so it's fun to mix it up a bit. Mm, mm, mm. All right, and here we go, we're gonna try out the uh, pesto pasta. It looks incredible. So much pesto in there, we've got some cheese, Mmm, get a proper bite. Mmm. Mmm. That is incredibly delicious. Wow. I don't know if you guys know this because I haven't had that much pesto. Because I guess in a lot of the countries I go to, it's not as common to get. But it's for sure like one of my favorite foods of all time is like pesto on the pasta. Just anything. And it's so delicious. You can tell it's fresh. Mmm, noodles are cooked well, good chew to it. Mm. All that guys with the light breeze. This is paradise here in India. I'm loving it. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try out the garlic bread here. Mm. It's not G double O D my guy? Mm. No bro, it's not G double O D. <laughs> It's G triple O D. Very good, I must say. Props to Raul, he found this location. And it just checks all the boxes. Delicious food, great coffee. Views on point, as I've said a million times now, and I don't keep saying it. Mm. And a proper meal, like good sized portions too. Like Raul wanted me to get this, himself an entree, and then split a pizza. And I was like, bro, I'm not trying to get the pizza belly here. <laughs> but good food, guys, overall. Very nice. All right, that was a delicious meal, my friends. Now we're gonna head on and continue showing you more of the city of Udaipur. Bad news here, though. 
No working on laptops. That's my only disappointment on this place. My guess is because a lot of tourists come in and out. They want to keep the, uh, the tables clean. Namaskar, bicep. Got the brownies down there too. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. brownies in there is good. Brownies in there. The best stuff, yeah? Yes, uh -huh. of course. Man, I shouldn't have eaten so much. Then I could have eaten a brownie right now too. Delicious. Alright, 16.06. Yeah. Alright, well, so that's 16.06 that comes out to uh, roughly $23.50. That's me totally guessing in US dollars. So, very good price for amazing views, delicious food. Okay, thank you. Really enjoyed it. Down here, bud, bicep. Up, can I'm okay. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Any time you're happy, I am. Kind of both fun, bicep. Okay, sir. <laughs> Wow. Good Hindi? Yeah, yeah, you're good Hindi. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I, practice. I like this. No, thank you. <laughs> practice makes perfect, as they say. International card? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. So they are accepting international card also. Oh, perfect, yeah. That's a big deal, guys. To be honest, not that many places I've found, I think since after the pandemic, are accepting international cards, but these guys are. So, Daniyabad for that. Thank you. Daniyabad. All right, Charlie, Charlie, want to hear, bro? All right, guys, the uh, journey through the city continues. Wow, as soon as we walk out, we have a nice large gate. That's the nice part about this city, guys. The first impressions continue to get better and better. We had an incredible first meal exploring this place. And we're walking through all these areas. We've got temples here. We've got incredible paintings. Namaskar. Nice people here. Namaskar. Uh. And so, yeah, guys, really a uh, fantastic vibe. The nice part in terms of Rajasthan, if you've been following along for the series, as we traveled through quite a few cities, it's not as hot here. Now it's probably just around 1230. And I would say like it's a very comfortable temperature in, how do I call this shirt? Kurta. You in my kurta. kurta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my kurta and a pair of pants and I'm like pretty comfortable. Probably after walking up a couple hills, it'll be warm but like a, a much nicer temperature. We've even got a restaurant here called Pimpin. Whoa. Hello. A nice guy in there. He looks like he's pimping out. All right. So we're going to the next spot here. We got the Bagor Museum. Namaskar. Nice locals here. Ah, look who's back. I just follow you now. Daniyavad Bhai Saab. Very you nice of you. In the evening here, in the evening there's a dance show. Oh, thank you. Like we'll, a folk dance and puppet show. We'll try and make it then. So can I love to show you now my work? Uh, thank you, my friend. We're actually uh, en route to the uh, palace. But Daniyavad Bhai Saab. No view. Daniyavad. So we've got a lot of markets and uh, Things where you can buy textiles all in this area. Foods and many things. 40 meters. Yeah, Raul just brought up a good point here. That like we have, obviously you guys haven't seen us get in a tuk-tuk or anything yet. Like when you stay down here, right in the, uh, what would you call this area? Like the center? Yeah, this is the uh, old city. The old city, yeah. When you stay in the old city, like you can pretty much walk everywhere. And as you've been seeing throughout this whole time, we've got shops everywhere. You can buy any types of gifts and items, clothing, textiles, wallets. See dogs in the streets, a lot of stuff all around here. And it's all able to be seen by foot. And there's a plethora. And by plethora, guys, I mean a massive amount of rooftop restaurants. So if that's your thing, it's definitely my thing. This is your city. Wow, guys, a little bit of everything. I was just telling you how many things you can buy here. Now we're even coming across paintings. And we've got stands here for some fresh snacks. And that's leading us right up to the palace, which I'm excited to see. As you can see, we're walking right up to the palace here. Got big groups of people. Hello, bye, Saab. And ticket bookings right up this way. Donnyvod. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look. So we got student, teachers, adults, 300 rupees. Probably going to be a special foreigner price, I'm guessing. Namaskar. A little bit. Hey, say hello, bye, sir. Hey, bahut acha. Daniyabad. Namaskar, bye, sir. Yes, sir. How are things? Yeah, everything is open. Uh, very good, very good. Uh, we'll take uh, which tickets? Hmm. So, sir, can you tell us, first, we don't want to go to the museum, we want to go to the 
तो हमें सिर्फ जाना है जैसे पैलेस में पैलेस में सेम थिंग अच्छा अगर आपको पैलेस नहीं जाना है म्यूजियम भी नहीं जाना है तो फिर आप कॉम्प्लेक्स का टिकट ले और फिर वो बोटिंग के लिए जाते ना वो भी उधर ही मिल जाएगा अच्छा वो अलग से अलग से लेनी पड़ेगी टिकट अच्छा वो सेपरेट अभी दो बजे तक पाँच सौ तीस रूपए चार्ज है दो बजे के बाद आठ सौ ओ That's a good sign. After two o'clock, they charge eight hundred. Eight hundred thirty. Eight hundred thirty, and uh, before two p.m., they charge uh, five thirty. Oh, that's a, that's a certified bargain. <laughs> no, it's the sunset time. So we need the uh, the tickets for for the pa uh, palace. Outside or and outside. Two. Sixty. Sixty rupees. Uh, sixty. Only outside. Cash or uh, only sixty. There we go, Danny Abad. Perfect. So those are tickets to get in. We got it. This is a very good thing, like a foreigner and Indian same price. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. This is the only place where we have solo bar. Same. Wow, that's very nice, Danny Abad. Your name is Mukul Mehra. Mukul Mehra. Ah, uh, Mukul. Danny Bad Muku. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Danny Bad. There we go, guys. As we say, chale chalo. Let's head on in. All right, we are entering into the beautiful palace. Namaskar, Bai Sab. Namaskar. Uh, you need this? Yeah. All right. Danny Bad Raul. Oh, same name. Same name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, very nice. Same name. <laughs> yeah, it's a great name. Great name, Raul. Danny Bad. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. We are entering into India's second largest palace. Pretty incredible, right? Hello. Hello. How are you? All right, we are entering in officially to the palace. There we are. All right. Ooh, it's getting a little warm there. Welcome officially to the palace. We have entered. And now that the breeze has stopped, it's gotten a bit warmer, my friends. But wow, what a massive, massive place. So where to? I don't even know where to go. That's why people get guides here a lot of times, guys. But today, I'm gonna be your guide. Do I have a lot of facts? No. Do I have uh, a lot of caffeine in me? Yes. So let's head on in and explore this place together. So I guess this is the official entrance to get in. Right there. Bit of a traffic jam going on here. Funny bud. So guys, the 30 rupees we paid to get into this part, it's about uh, 30, 40 cents, and it allows you to walk around the outskirts of the palace of the museum. Wow, look at, these are some of the largest doors I've ever seen. We've got paintings at the top of the dome. Oh, and there's even pigeons sitting on the light fixtures. So let's head on this way. Lots of paintings all over this place. Guys, we've decided to enter India's second largest palace in the world. By the way, the first largest palace is in Karnataka. So we paid 300 rupees per person to get in. That's gonna be about uh, five US dollars. So 10 bucks for the two of us to get in. And it's gonna be amazing. So I think we're gonna retrace our steps this way to head on in. We're gonna find Raul. Oh, we've got, we found oh, him. Oh. Raul's pretty excited. His first time ever in this palace. Yeah, it's uh, India's uh, second largest because of that. I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah, very much so. So it's this way to uh, Chale Chalo Inn. And welcome my friends, we have arrived, hello, we're gonna head in, excuse me, all right, guys we have entered in to the palace, we are going upstairs now, and I'm gonna bring you with us, we're getting a workout in, but I can tell you when you walk in every single square inch of this place is beautifully designed, hello bye sab. Danevad. And holy cow, we are here. Guys, and this is what how we start off the palace the right way. We have entered and immediately we're seeing many of the kings of India here. Oh, Raul's been busted. Guys, I'm kidding. He just forgot to give him the ticket. We got his ticket too. Lots of incredible paintings 
dating way back to the 1500s. And look at to this level of detail. That is one of my favorite things about paintings. I'm by far not an expert in any sort of way. I don't actually know that much about paintings, but what I can tell you is it's incredible that you can take a blast into the past and actually be able to see. 35 kilograms right there, guys. Two, that's times 2.2 pounds. That's, uh, my math's not great, but that's maybe 80, 90 pounds. Imagine that saying, raise the drawbridge. Sire. All right, we are crossing over to the other side of the palace. Guys, and I know this is a first impressions video, but like, wow, what a place to be seeing right now. Just blown away. The amount of architecture that is built into every corner of this entire place. I believe these are marble steps that we're walking up based on how slippery they are. So if you're walking in, be careful. But, uh, Holy moly. It looks like we've got, I don't know what this thing is. Maybe like a bathing pool. Oh, what do we got going on out here? Oh, this is the uh, most photogenic spot of the entire palace. Got, oh, got views into the city from there. Mixed in with a little bit of stained glass. Very beautiful. So guys, we have found one of the most picturesque spots, but watch out, if you smash your head on that thing, you're gonna need some stitches here. So as you can see, wow, what a terrace you used to be able to look at back in the day. Incredible views. I can understand why they built it in this exact location. But uh, yeah, if you come right here, you can get a very nice photo spot. Looking right through here, you can see the lake from two different angles. Very nice, let's shot O and move on. We're continuing through here, and there's some pretty narrow passageways. It's kind of like endless areas to walk through. And look at this courtyard. Wow, you got the birds chirping in here. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So many incredible viewpoints over here. As you can see, we've got these towers right there with multicolored glass. All around, I've noticed they have small little, like I guess a little larger than Juliet balconies. And it just looks over the whole palace. I mean, it's just so crazy when you imagine like the entire perimeter, all of it is perfectly carved to various Indian designs here. And you can see it on every square inch of everywhere. Even right there, you have elephants. Like that stuff actually just like blows your mind. Cause like you see sometimes people like making a small little like uh, street carving of a pitcher. And that might take them many days to make like a small little, you know, one foot by one foot stone engraving. You know, and this is an entire palace that would take you hours just to even walk around this whole place. So that just kind of probably puts into perspective for you how much work goes into creating such a place. I mean, look at it's all around this entire courtyard and plaza right here. Mind blowing. Very good. 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 Yeah. No problem. No, great. Yeah. Be happy. Exactly. Nice to meet you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. See you next time. Yes, I look forward to it. But double. Udaipur is a romantic city. That's when the king came. Udaipur is a romantic city. Oh, the royal. Famous for honeymoon. Oh, my God. Next time. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bring the girl with me next time. Next time. That'll be next time. I'm here in the Lake Palace. Yeah, yeah. Because the Jacqueline Kennedy, she came here. Yes, sir. She stayed here. Ah, yeah. Oh, well, we'll be returning then for round two. Yeah. Down here, bud. Very good. <laughs> As you can see, we've got the, a lot of parts you got to watch out for here. It says, mind your head. I'd probably just put cushions there because the amount of people that don't read the signs. But uh, A for effort. we got crazy fans, so don't put your hands up right there. But other than that, we're going here. Guys, let me tell you one thing. My biggest piece of advice is not too many biryanis before you come here. Because imagine this, if I had my normal amount of biryanis, I wouldn't even be able to get through here. If I had the gym, oh, I'd barely make it through there. Forward march! About face. <laughs> <laughs> and we are in the next room of the palace here. Wow, the whole palace has just turned pink. With a lot of various designs. We've got green stripes, we've got paintings in every direction. I think they may have been a little shorter back in the day because a lot of these doorways are a bit, a bit shorter. 
Wow. The crazy part, guys, when you come through here, every single room you go in is like completely different. Like that one was pink with the green stripes. Here is like almost like a like the dominating color would be like red and gold. And then you have so many paintings of things that happen. We have wars on that side. We have pictures with the king at various events through history. Just a lot, a lot. So let's chalo y chalo this way. And wow, like this is what you imagine a palace to look like. It almost looks like a giant checkers board here. We've got the, uh, one of the most beautiful parts I've seen yet in the palace here. Just a lot of different designs. And look at this. Terraces on terraces on terraces here. Stained glass over here. And it makes me wonder if this is original. It's probably added in. Looks like it might be added in. Tige, Danny about. All right, and on to the next room. Oh, I thought this was the end of it, but it looks like this is just another blue room. Seems like each room kind of has its own theme of colors as we explore this place. Way to next. All right, it's a good thing they have this signage, otherwise I would have been lost. Honestly, probably when they built this thing originally, it must have been hard to remember which way to go because there's just so many doors and passageways that lead to one place after another. I'm guessing that fan was recently installed because I don't think that's been around since the palace was built. Guys, so we've just made it a little bit further here and look at this view right out the window. You can see how incredibly well designed the entire courtyard of like outside of the palace. So this area I'm showing you right now, that was the part when we first walked in. You pay like 30 rupees and you're able to access basically any of that area, cafes, shops, all of that. And then, yeah, the 300 obviously gets you up into here where you have all of the immaculate designs, incredible. There's just like everywhere in, there, in this palace, there's just so much to look at and see. All right, guys, and we've made it through most of the palace here. It seems like now that there's a lot more red signage all over here, this is going to be the end of it. So, what a cool palace. Obviously, I didn't go into detail in every single room with you guys, but that just means you'll have to come see it yourself. Really a, an incredible palace. You can get a guide here for five people, like between one to five people for a private guide for about 300 rupees. So yeah, if you want to do more of like the history side, uh, definitely do that. We were going for a little bit more of an expedited tour through here. And yeah, it looks like, oh, we got one more passageway and then we're back. Guys, we're stopping for a quick break here. We're gonna have some delicious volcanic water, which is gonna go right into the system after walking around quite a bit. As you can see, my lips are probably even a little dry right now because we've been in the desert heat for so long. So I'm about to literally finish off this entire bottle. Uh, was gonna try and finish it, but so cold to give me a brain freeze, a good one. Mm -hmm. ah. Quick little water break, about 220, 110 each for us to get volcanic water. One of the best quality waters I've had actually in India. Had a lot of bests today in this video, but uh, let me tell you, that's what happens when you're here in Udaipur. All right, now it's time to chale chalo. Wow, gotta readjust to the uh, hot weather outside after being in that nice air conditioned cafe right there. So I think this is where we're going to be heading out. And the boats are this way, bro? Yeah. Alright guys, and that's where we're going to conclude today's first impressions video. So far, let me tell you this, really enjoyed exploring this side of the city. Hello my friend. Namaskar. Hello. Hello. Namaskar. How are you? Good. 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 U.S. U.S. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very nice people here, the squad of guides there. So as you guys heard earlier, there's a lot of licensed guides that uh, you can take and do a tour. Honestly, I recommend them. Like, uh, you know, in some of the cities, maybe guides can be a little bit pushy. Here, they're very nice. They're like, you know, like they'll ask you, and if you don't, you kind of just keep walking. And they all seem really nice, good in English, if uh, you speak English, obviously, which you probably do if you're on this channel right now. And so, yeah, really nice people here, both uh, around the palace we explored, all around the city. 
a lot of uh, nice experiences so far here in the city of Udaipur. Got nothing but great things to say. So that's, uh, that's a really good sign for this. But there's so, so, so much to do in this city that this is just one of the many videos we're gonna be making while we explore this area. So if you guys have enjoyed this one, make sure to smash that like button. If you wanna see more videos both here in Udaipur as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow.